Okay, so I just recorded a screencast of how I am doing some kind of debugging with the console. Um, and in Chrome, you can't break on exceptions when there is a console error. So um, I thought I'd try the same test in DevTools here. So the, uh, in DevTools Firefox. Um, so the task was to create uh, an object that contains the um, the status code of an, uh, an ID. Uh, the ID of a status code and uh, the text that represents that status code. So 100 being 100 to continue and so on. So this will be done in the console. I should have it pasted here. So this was the, the code that I was running and this has an exception in it. So if I run it, um, I get that error, which is good. Um, but, and I've done a little bit of this already, which is why I know it kind of goes differently. If I go to the debugger, and pause on exceptions and go back to the console, um, rerun the code, it pauses. Um, now I know that pauses because I now recognize that this debugger is in a pause state, but it took me a while to realize that this was in a pause state. Like I expected to jump to an exception, which is basically what the uh, JavaScript engine has done. It's actually, it's paused, but it hasn't taken me to that exception. Um, and I Thing. It might be because I'm doing something funky in the dev tools. Um, but if I go to the debugger, it gets a little bit hairy. Um, I've got the function context, which is good. I have this as my source, which is a little bit confusing. And I'm not sure what the real answer would be. And I can see anonymous uh, debugging code. Um, I don't know if I can kind of make that bigger, if I make my window bigger. What's the stack trace? Function scope, it's just anonymous. So I've got anonymous, but I've got like the, the I've got some text there. Um, this is the error, uh, like whatever is undefined. And if I go back to the console, this, yeah, like I, I would expect to be able to inspect what the value of this is. but I can't. I can see it here. Oh, I can hover over it, okay. So, okay, this tells me that basically my code's wrong because I'm looking for a span. Um, that's not too bad, actually, it's not too bad. At least it breaks, at least I can just about get there. The workflow is very different, but I'm admittedly doing something very strange in the first place. Um, one really, uh, the annoying thing that I came across was when I clicked on this menu, when I click on that menu, this happens, this kind of re refreshing thing. It took me a while to realize I need to click and hold to actually do something, and it's actually um, like unticking this value. Um, so I expect that to be kind of a just click once and you can see it rather than click and hold. Um, but pause and exceptions works on uh, the console, which is cool. Um, and at this point in time, I'd say that the DevTools in Firefox is better because it tells you it actually breaks with console code, um, which is what I'd expect it to do. Um, but there are a few subtle kind of user experience things that don't quite, uh, that could do with maybe polishing, um, particularly jumping to the exception. Um, oh, we're still in, we're still in debug state, aren't we? we play this out. Play, 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 and we're finished, console. Nope, still paused. Let me uncheck the break on exceptions. Play it through, and we get the error. It's cool. So then I go ahead and fix the code. Um, what I was doing in DevTools is actually uh, setting a debugger in. So I end up doing try um, catch e. I think this solution will probably work as well. But we don't have to jump to debugger, fine. Um, I'm in a debug state. Actually, it broke anyway, so I can actually inspect the element and fix it. Um, no, it's cool. So, maybe that's useful. I'm not sure if uh, one is better than the other. Um, I definitely like that I can, I can debug and break on exceptions in the console, 
um, but I'd like to jump back and forth between two things. Um, but it's, yeah, it's cool. It's good to see that worked. Cool.